Welcome to the Adventures in Small Business, a collaborative effort by the U.S. Small Business Administration Hawaii District Office, the Hawaii Small Business Development Center, the Mink Center for Business and Leadership, and the Veterans Business Outreach Center of the Pacific to showcase the stories of local entrepreneurs and small businesses. I'm Colleen McAlooney from the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership, and today with me I have Byron Grew from t Chest Hawaii and Susan Utsugi from Central Pacific Bank. Welcome and thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank appreciate you. your being here. So I wanted to start out today with uh, Byron and explaining to us uh, about how long you've been in business. <laughs> we have, uh, we're starting our second cycle now. <laughs> we uh, started in 1995, so we're celebrating our what, 20, almost 25th year. In Congratulations. Business. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Excellent. And um, why did you start your business? Um, you know, I think entrepreneurism runs in my family. My mom and dad had restaurants. They opened up some Chinese restaurants. My dad was actually the first person to bring a Hong Kong dim sum cart to the islands. Yeah, he started a restaurant in um, the Culture Plaza called Fat Si Lao. Mm -hmm. well, long story short is why we got into tea was we, we saw that nobody was doing it. At the time, tea was similar to wine in the sense that it was described in two colors, green and black. And yet there was questions being asked in the restaurant business. Okay, what happened to coffee is happening to wine. What's the next step? Mm -hmm. And we saw an opportunity. Oh, that's fantastic. So yeah. you found a niche. Yeah. That's excellent. And so, okay, so that's why you started your business. And what makes Teach Us Hawaii unique? Well, I think what makes us really unique is um, we know the product very intimately. And what I mean by that is not only do we know it as a crop, but we know it as an ingredient. We know it as a finished product. And I think what really makes our company special is that we really have an understanding about how to create flavor. So our motto for Teach Us The Way, and I think what makes us unique is that um, we have a palate and a skill set for refined taste, but also to deliver a, a distinct sense of place. Like when I'm creating products, I really think about you know, the strawberry guava that I used to pick, you know, in Wahila Ridge in St. Louis, the, the fresh mango I used to eat in Manoa Valley, those kinds of memories. Right. Yeah. Oh, so we want to fantastic. capture the flavors of Hawaii in our product. And what are, what would be your most popular products? Oh, by far. Uh, well, we won best iced tea in America. Mm -hmm. um, so our passion fruit iced tea oh. is a winner and it's served around uh, the state in a lot of restaurants. And then our mango peach, is probably our number one tea bag mm -hmm. product. So oh, yeah, we've excellent. got a couple of those here. That's fantastic. Thank you. And Susan, mm -hmm. let's see. So, uh, what is your connection, say, to uh, your relationship with the Tea Chest Hawaii? Mm -hmm. Well, Byron and his wife, Satomi, are friends. First of all, it's a small community. So Byron actually went to the same high school as my husband, mm -hmm. Iolani. He's an Iolani graduate. Uh -huh. Um, but we, I got to know Byron through his participation in the SBA Emerging Leaders. He's a customer of Central Pacific Bank, mm -hmm. and uh, we participate, CBB will participate as a panelist um, for ba on, on Banker Night. And that's Emerging Leaders is an SBA program for businesses who are in existence, have, have been established, and want to take their business to the next level. Mm -hmm. so it's almost a year long, almost like getting your MBA in business, small business. Mm -hmm. So um, what, the way that we participate is we work with the business owners, help them go through their financial statements, understand their financial statements, talk about what the bank does and how we can assist. Um, so I got to know Byron through his participation there. And because he's a customer, well, we've worked together since then. Oh, excellent. That's she, she made a good point that, that Emerging Leaders Program is really like a crash course master's program. Mm -hmm. I never went to grad school, mm -hmm. but boy, I really felt like I was getting fine-tuned. Oh, Going that's fantastic that. and great to hear. Yeah. It is an excellent program. And then for full disclosure, I wanted everybody to know uh, Susan's link to the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, um, Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership is a women's business center. It's um, supported by the SBA, but also through the community. And it offers great programs for entrepreneurs who want to start their business, business owners who want to grow their business, and also for leadership. We have a great Leadership Alliance program for women who are in um, 
management roles in their companies, and we're in, going into our fourth cohort soon. Mm. Um, very successful program in helping women, helping women become strong leaders in our community. Well, that's great. Thank you so much, and we truly appreciate all the service that you provide for us. Thank you and support. So let's see. So Susan, what is import? Why is it important to shop local? Oh, it's important to shop local because small business is really a driver in our community. Mm -hmm. um, they employ over 50% of our local workforce. And we want to support small business um, so that we have a thriving economy and we have thriving communities. Fantastic. And so let's see. So Byron, uh, you must support through your tea purchase local restaurants, local farmers, other local businesses. Mm. Can you explain how that works for Tea Chest Hawaii? Sure, sure. Uh, you know, a lot of people haven't really heard of the name Tea Chest Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Um, because it's more used in the trade, B2B channels. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, some of our products here are consumer facing, but they really don't know the name, Teach Us Hawaii. Mm -hmm. But the bulk of our business comes from supporting the hospitality industry in Hawaii. So we work with all the top chefs in the state, um, even visiting chefs when they come into town. Mm -hmm. uh, we also work with some of the top end uh, hotels. So we really enjoy our, our partnerships. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, in hospitality and food service. Oh, that's wonderful support of the local economy yeah. for sure. And let's see. Uh, so you shared our, your local partners, how important those relationships are to you. And so, Susan, um, what resources are available mm -hmm. to small business owners mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. like, from Central Pacific Bank, per right. se? Yeah, well, within our community, there's a lot of resources uh, that are free or very reasonably priced. Mm -hmm. And I think Byron is a great example of someone who's really taken advantage of that. Um, we talked about the SBA Emerging Leaders Program. Mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, programs like Shop Small Hawaii, which right. the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership spearheads. Um, your organization provides a lot of very reasonably priced classes. Mm -hmm. um, the SBA and the Small Business Development Center will help business owners um, either write or improve on their business plan. And so there's a lot of resources out there that can help um, business owners. The bank is there to help support that. So once, you know, taking advantage of those resources and then also working with your banker, that combination for an entrepreneur or a business owner can be, can really help you advance your, your business. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. And then, uh, let's see, so that's small business resources. Mm -hmm. And then how, how does SBA become a vital partner in providing resources uh, to small businesses? I understand mm -hmm. it. Uh, it's the classes and workshops, but can you speak a little bit yeah. to the financials? Mm -hmm. yes. Sure. Great. Access to capital is probably a high priority on every small business owner's list. Mm -hmm. um, you need capital to grow. And so I think by um, understanding your financial statements, understanding the cycle of your cash flow, mm -hmm. um, if we can help our, our customers and our business owners understand that, they can um, understand how to use their financial statement to make decisions. Um, a financial statement will tell, the, will tell you a story of what happened in the past. Mm -hmm. And so using that story and understanding what happened, why, how it impacted the business, and then using that information to make decisions going forward and working on projections going forward um, can put a, a business in a position where they can gain access to capital. Right. So those are the two things that we find at the Mink Center are the they're the number one priority for small businesses or future business people asking about is understanding the finance piece right. and also where they can get the financing. So that's that's really important to know. So let's see. So Byron, uh, how did you first get involved into the in the Emerging Leaders Program at the SBA? Good question. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably my banker told me I should do it. <laughs> so they would have an easier time explaining the, my financials to me. <laughs> right, understood. And do you, do you remember what some of the key takeaways were for you from oh, the program? Oh, it was huge. Um, I think, you know, relationships are very important to us. Um, they help us grow. They help us put perspective on things. And so, you, you know, even I did emerging leaders Six years ago, I had mm -hmm. to actually look it up. But I still stay in touch with my cohort, mm -hmm. my group. Uh, we meet, you know, a couple times a year mm -hmm. just to catch up, see how each, 
you know, each other's doing. Right. And I think from an entrepreneur's point of view, you know, just to put maybe a, a touchy-feely spin on it, we live in a really small town, mm -hmm. right? So as you're developing your business, as you're developing new products, for me, I tend to be a little guarded. I tend to hold things really close to the, to the vest. Right. So to have um, other people who understand business, um, who are willing to keep things confidential and really give me an, an honest, straightforward answer, what they're, what they're thinking, what they're feeling about an idea that I have, including my banker, mm -hmm. um, it gives me, I think, bit more wisdom, more confidence to make a go or no go decision. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's, uh, e Emerging Leaders has been really helpful to our business. Oh, that's fantastic. So the strength of the cohort is, I think a lot of times, is not valued as strongly as it should be mm. because it's, especially where entrepreneurs are concerned, entrepreneurs can be very isolated because they're so focused on their business and being able to have a network and a supportive network to reach out to where you feel comfortable yeah. and mm. where you feel like you can be honest about your business also is, is extremely helpful. And, and that's great. I'm so glad that you were able to find that support at Emerging mm. Leaders. Okay, excellent. Yeah. And Colleen, I wanted to add to working with the SBA, you know, the SBA has their small business um, loan program. Mm -hmm. And that's a way for business owners who uh, might be, be just um, new in their business or, or maybe not quite there to meet all the bank's strict requirements, but the SBA will guarantee the loan up to a certain percentage, mm -hmm. which will allow the bank to then make the loan. And so that's a, that's a great resource for business owners to be aware of. And Central Pacific Bank, um, does the most amount of small business administration loans in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And so we're very proud of that because in terms of the number of loans that we do, it's, it's allowed us to help many more businesses with that extra SBA support. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that. So let's see. Uh, oh, I know. We can bring up some accelerators also and how important they are. So I believe, were mm. you a part of the Mana Up? Business accelerator? We did that. We were in cohort number one uh, last mm -hmm. year at the beginning of 2018, and there were 10 of us. Oh, congratulations. And that, that was nice, too, because not only were we uh, business owners, but we were also, uh, many of us were in the food mm -hmm. sector. Mm -hmm. So we really got a chance to talk about the nitty gritty right. of the market and what's going on and how to do things. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. And ramping your business up. Yeah. And oh. then maybe later in the show, I'll even show you. One of the fruits that have, has come out of that oh, uh, collaboration. Yeah. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> Wonderful. And so, Susan, how do resources like Mana Up help your business customers? It gives them access to maybe markets that they have not had before, that extra support in opening it up, because the mission of the accelerator is to really take these products, Hawaii-made products, to the world. Mm -hmm. And um, it's tough to do that by yourself, but with the support that and the access that Mana Up provides, it helps give a leg up to our, our business owners in Hawaii. Can I share something? Of course. You know, the, the other thing, too, that the accelerator does, so for instance, with Mana Up and before that, my experience with uh, emerging leaders, mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you use the word priority, priority. Mm -hmm. We never have enough time as business owners. Right. And so, we, you know, for instance, I, I may want to do something, but it always gets shoved to the back burner, mm -hmm. you know. And by just jumping into an accelerator or I, I went to Mon Up simply because I had a really great experience mm -hmm. at Emerging Leaders. Oh, fantastic. And so uh, I, I found value there. Basically what it did is it actually scheduled time. It carved out time to focus on the business rather than the product or the customer or the service or the finances. It focused about, okay, what's the next step for the business? Where are we going to be five years from now, 25 years from now? Things like uh, that. Took you out of the day-to-day -day operations exactly. and allowed you to think of your future and big picture thinking. Yeah, and I almost planning. used the word forced <laughs> because yeah, right. you have to do your homework and come to the table with something. Right. Otherwise, it wouldn't get done. That oh, cohort you. keeps you accountable. <laughs> Very much so. Thank you for sharing that part. That's sure. important. Great. We're going to take a break now, and we will be back soon with uh, Byron Gu from T-Chest Hawaii and Susan Utsugi from Central Pacific Bank. Aloha. This is Winston Welch. I am your host of Out and About, where every other week 
Mondays at 3, we explore a variety of topics in our city, state, nation, and world, and uh, events, organizations, the people that fuel them. It's a really interesting show. We welcome you to tune in, and we welcome your suggestions for shows. Um, you got a lot of them out there, and we have an awesome uh, studio here where we can get your ideas out as well. So I look forward to you tuning in every other week where we've got some great guests and great topics. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to come away inspired like I do. So I'll see you every other week here at 3 o'clock on Monday afternoon. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha and welcome to At the Crossroads. I'm your host, Keisha King. I'm live at five every Wednesday where we have entertaining and educational conversations that are real and relevant, both here in Hawaii and across the globe. I'll see you at the crossroads. Aloha. Welcome back to Adventures in Small Business. Today I have Byron Gu from Teachest Hawaii and Susan Utsugi from Central Pacific Bank. And today we are talking about entrepreneurs and how they grow their business. And Byron's working on a special thing for us right now. We're going to sample one of his new products. But first, I want to ask about, uh, I want to ask Susan about the relationship between Teachest Hawaii and Central Pacific Bank and have Byron chime in about uh, the services that Central Pacific Bank has been able to offer him. Well, at Central Pacific Bank, we're very relationship-focused. We want to know our clients, what they do, what drives them, what drives their business, not just their business in itself, but also them personally. Mm -hmm. um, and we do that through having conversations, having communication, talking stories, going out, seeing their place of business, seeing what's and so through that, you know, the more we know about our, our customer, the more we can help. Because we have so many uh, products and services, we want to make sure that we're very relevant to Byron, um, his company, and his family. Mm -hmm. mm. Fantastic. Yeah, my relationship with the uh, CPB, and uh, we've gone through a couple of different business part, uh, bankers now, mm -hmm. uh, has been fantastic. Um, and it's not because just because uh, Susan and I have a personal relationship, but they have been very, uh, they've been there. They have been very caring about the business, uh, very supportive about what we're doing. Um, I'm not the best banking customer because I'm risk or, or debt avert, adverse, <laughs> uh, but we do need it to, to, for working capital and what have you. And I was trying to think about how, um, you know, our line of credit that we have with CPB has helped us. We're constantly out there trying to get new accounts and grow the business, grow the market. Um, you know, one of our kuleana, we believe, is to grow the industry of, of agriculture in Hawaii because tea is an ag product right. at its basis. And so uh, we're con continually trying to drive the top line. But having that line of credit in place really gives us the confidence to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just talking to our CPA and we were looking at the finances and and we actually will, are, are going to try and rework some of our P&Ls to get even more granular information. And I said, that would really help because, you know, sometimes when you see numbers and they don't make sense, really, you don't have confidence to go out there and talk right. to the customer and to, to reach for the next step and what have you. So right. having, you know, uh, a credit line with CPB and, and, and partners like that just really gives us confidence to do the, do the business and make it grow. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. That's essential. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Okay, great. So Byron's going to share one of his new products oh, with us. Okay. But first, maybe why don't you uh, discuss some of these that are up here up front and sure. um, tell us what those are first. Well, um, you, you know, long story short is we actually started thinking we were going to be the Spiegel catalog or Sears Roebuck of tea. We were going to sell other people's products simply because, like I said, there was, a, there was, a, there was nothing in, available in the market. Uh, and that project bombed <laughs> terribly. We, I mean, to put a, a time frame on it, we were like thinking about mail-out catalogs. Can mm -hmm. you imagine that? I don't even know what that is anymore, given the internet and what have you. But uh, long story short is we, it, it forced us, that failure forced us 
inside the package and, and, and turned us in, into manufacturers. And so we started with iced tea. Um, and then, of course, restaurants asked us, well, can you make a better tea bag? And they s said, okay, I'll try. And so we came out with this line here, Hawaiian Natural, Hawaiian Natural Tea. Um, and these are certified organic tea bags okay. here. And then we also do loose tea. And our line of loose tea is called Island Essence. And mm -hmm. I call it the Tommy Bahama of uh, loose tea, very <laughs> island resort kind of feel. Yes. But one of the other cohort members in Mana Up last year was Dylan Butterball mm -hmm. with uh, Manoa Chocolate. And so Dylan and I have been in constant contact with each other and what have you. And um, I don't know if people know how chocolate is made, mm -hmm. but it comes from the cacao pod. And I wish I had brought one to show you. But the cacao pod, it, Hawaii is the only state in the U.S. that can grow it, that has the right climate to grow it. So that has, has caused sort of a bubble up burgeoning chocolate industry right. to start in Hawaii. So a lot of craft chocolate companies, I shouldn't say a lot, but a few really good craft chocolate, Very artisanal good. chocolate companies are starting in Hawaii. One of which is Manoa um, Chocolate. Um, now they have this byproduct. The, the, the pod is actually opened up. There's little uh, cacao beans in it. The right. beans are fermented and roasted, and then the the pot the bean is split, and the shell comes off, mm -hmm. and then they use the inside, which is the nib, to make chocolate. Okay. Kind of like a mac nut. You right. crack the mac nut, and you get rid of the shell, and you use the, the the nut. Well, now they've got all of this cacao shell sitting around, oh, okay. and it's really nice. It's aromatic. Mm. It's chocolatey, but it doesn't have calories. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have all the oil and cholesterol. And Dylan gave me some, and I started playing with it. And uh, also, I got to give a shout out to uh, Kylie and Judah, Ch Judah Chun over at uh, Kahuku Farms, because mm -hmm. they have an acre of cacao on their property, too. And we just started experimenting with it. And this is a first. I don't know how many firsts have, ha have happened with Think Tech Hawaii, but mm -hmm. this is actually the first time I'm bringing this out in public. And Yay. so we're going to try this cacao, the reveal, <laughs> uh, a cacao tea that we're making. Um, some other companies, some tea companies in the past have tried to do chocolate tea, mm -hmm. um, but they used like the nibs or carobs. And so you would make a pot of, or a cup of chocolate tea, and then you'd get this film machine kind of oh, sitting on it. Right. And I don't know, that didn't appeal to me. But this cacao, we're using the shell. And we took our skill set as tea makers and we've blended it with some black tea and some other mm -hmm. ingredients. And uh, I would love to get well, your we feedback. We would love to taste it. So, so Colleen, this is, this is what it looks like. Um, I wish we Ooh, could kind beautiful. of... Maybe I, I should have spilled some on the it. table and you guys can... It's got a little... I can put a little close bit on up my, that. A little on my paper here. And what is the yellow piece in it? The yellow is uh, marigold blossoms. Oh. Yeah. Kind of see how beautiful that is. And this is only sold as a loose leaf right uh, now? It's only sold it as a good. loose leaf product. Mm -hmm. It smells um, delicious. It smells delicious. Duty Free Shoppers has uh, come on board. And even without tasting the product, uh, mm. they heard about the idea. They came on board and said, if you give us a six-month exclusive, we'll launch it. Fantastic. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit the market in June uh, with Duty Free Shoppers. So it'll be available at the, the airports and what have you. And, you know, uh, the, they it also are, are bringing in their global buyers. They have a global mm -hmm. buyer summit in June. And so mm -hmm. hopefully, you know, maybe it'll grow some lengths and, yeah, we can export, export some, some cacao tea. Fantastic. It yeah. tastes delicious. It's delicious. And it definitely, it's not overpowering, but you definitely mm -hmm. get that flavor of the chocolate. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. And Only very clean, in very clean mm -hmm. tasting. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells really good congratulations. too. Congratulations. This is, oh, this is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I'm sure that process, that's, that probably touches your creative side. And I don't know if that's something that you have in your past or not, but being able to create a new product like this must be very fulfilling. Yeah, it comes um, second nature to me, but mm -hmm. I guess it, it is a skill set. I, I, right. I like to look at things that. I don't know, outside the box and see what we can create mm -hmm. and, and make. So mm -hmm. um, there's, it's going to be in two flavors, actually. Okay. 
So uh, this is called cacao colada, which is a pineapple. I don't know if you can see pineapple and, and coconut. And then we're also going to have a lily koi, mm. lily koi cacao. So. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you for doing you your, much. making your reveal here on <laughs> Think Tech Adventures in Small Business. We really appreciate that. That's fantastic. All right. So um, what I wanted to talk about really quick as we wrap up is Shop Small Hawaii. So Shop Small Hawaii, as uh, if any of you have seen the show before, we talk about this at the end. Mm -hmm. Shop Small Hawaii is an initiative that was started, uh, well, actually started from Small Business Saturday that was started in 2011 by American Express. And the SBA, the Small Business, Small Business Administration, got involved in that a year later. And uh, the Patsy Timmings Center started with the SBA partners, uh, Shop Small Hawaii. And this is a uh, website that small businesses can go to. And I know that uh, Teach Us Hawaii is registered on uh, Shop Small Hawaii. And Shop Small Hawaii is also, I want you to know, signature sponsor is Central Pacific Bank. So we thank them very much. But it's a, a website that small businesses and entrepreneurs can go to to register. And we support them throughout the year, not only on Small Business Saturday, which is the Saturday after Thanksgiving, we support them throughout the year with uh, promotions uh, via social media, uh, via workshops, and promotions. So we have promotions going on throughout the year, and then it culminates with Small Business Saturday, uh, usually with a consumer contest. So uh, giving them, trying to draw in the consumers and pairing them with the entrepreneurs and the businesses. So it's a up and coming, it's growing. We have over 100 small businesses registered now with Shop Small Hawaii. And I urge any small businesses to please register and sign up with us. And let's see, I'd like to uh, ask Susan if she has mm -hmm. any final words to impart mm -hmm. about um, entrepreneurs and Central Pacific Bank. Mm -hmm. And well, I just want to commend all of the small business owners out there. It's, it's not an easy job. You wear so many hats, and I have such high respect and regards for our small business owners. Um, they are a great contributor to our economy. They provide jobs, and they really make Hawaii the special place that it is. Um, it's great that we can see local products like Byron's that are really, it's a vertical from the ground up, literally, from growing the cacao to retailing the tea. And sending it out to the world to enjoy a little bit of Hawaii. Definitely. So thank you so much, Colleen, for your support of small business. Oh, thank you so much. And Byron, do you have any, any last minute or final things to say about Teach Us Hawaii and anything uh, else we can look forward to hearing or <laughs> seeing from you? Well, I, I think we continue to grow online. We continue to make new products. And we continue to, um, something that is really a passion project that I have is um, you know, seeing if we can develop our agricultural industry mm -hmm. to, uh, to get closer mm -hmm. to food independence and what have you. Mm -hmm. um, our little piece is with cacao and, and tea, and so we're growing tea. SBA was, I was fortunate enough to get an SBA grant, mm -hmm. and we have tea growing now on five different islands. You see a picture there. Right. Those are actually other farmers. And we're teaching them how to grow, how to pick, how to process tea. And so the university was doing it for 15 years, but the industry wasn't growing. And uh, we did a one-page white paper, what we would do. Uh, I was fortunate enough that the um, Department of Ag picked it up. They, mm -hmm. they supported the project. And so we now have hands. We've, we've planted about 10 acres around the state, 100-something mm -hmm. thousand plants. And we're testing where it can grow. And I'll, 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 we have a, a farm on Maui growing tea at 4,000 feet elevation. Fantastic. And we're already going to start exporting that to Japan. Oh, that's mm -hmm. exciting. I know we could have a number of shows just speaking about that yeah. and supporting the agriculture and having that, that vertical integration. But thank you so much for your support of agriculture in Hawaii, definitely. If I can thank SBA, thanks for the High Step grant and helping us export product. Fantastic, thank you for mentioning that yeah. as well. Definitely, all right, this is the end of our show today. Thank you to Susan and Byron, appreciate thank your you. being here with us, mm -hmm. and thank you to Think Tech Hawaii, and we look forward to seeing you next time.